Okay, all right. We're recording. I thought you were going to do a uh, stars in their eyes coming out the smoke, but, but when you just <laughs> come back with a whole, a whole new look, come back with yeah. Houston. Wow. Look at the cement dance, like, you know, shoo. Grab <laughs> I should I should have done that now. I feel like I should I should have been walked into shot. That should have been my entrance. <laughs> next time. Be walked next time. Next you time. Know. Next time. Right. <laughs> um, no. How are you doing, Sam? Good to see you again. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, good, good, good to see you too. And uh, and uh, thanks for joining me. Hi, Elno, and good Thank to meet you. you. Good to yeah, great yes. for sparing the time. Thank you. Really pleased to be here. And, I'm I'm just like really enjoying your background there as well. You got some very nice art on the walls there. It's, it's good, good, good. Oh, my nephew and niece, first nice. artwork. <laughs> love that, love that. <laughs> Colin, you've gone for the more minimalist, more minimalist approach there. Yeah, the whole house is minimalist. <laughs> I barely have any artwork up. This, yeah. Um, sorry, why am I getting messages? Hold on a minute. How do I get these off the screen? Um, Yes, I'm very minimalist. Um, um, yeah. White walls with a bit of artwork, but not much, not much. Yeah, fair, fair play. I, I often intend to be minimalist, but I keep saying things that would go, which, which I'm like, there's a space on the wall, that's going to go on the wall. So like, I, I'm running out of space. I've, I've, I've started collecting the spray cans now, painted spray cans, because I can't put anything more on the wall now. So it's, uh, you know. <laughs> But you need, yeah. you need to make cabinets for those now, though, don't you? So that's still more space. You've got to I have cabinets. So. I guess so. Yeah. yeah. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I, I suppose I'll, I'll, I'll start. Um, Ella, first of all, with uh, just to ask about the um, uh, the Womb Collective. What what's it about? How did it first come into in, in, into being? And I suppose what you you know uh, trying to to get out there and to achieve with it. Do you want to take this, Elna? No, no, I go, I go for it. So oh. yeah, one collective is uh, born really an organic, in a really organic way. Uh, all start in 2019, August 2019 through a jam, uh, without any idea to create a collective. It was the idea to bring together some friends, female friends, to paint uh, on summer and also inviting if they knew another female artist to come and join. And that actually, the jam was called WOM. That was in Allen Gardens. And everyone had a really good experience. So, I mean, I knew a lot of people, but I also met new girls and they came that day. And, and I just, um, I just thought everyone have a great experience, you know, and the feedback was really nice. And so as a Taurus and really stubborn person that I am, I thought, okay, we have to do something else, but why not also with an exhibition? Because actually the, the girls also produce beautiful artwork in different formats, a part of yes, mural, art, mural art. And then I um, sit down with Carleen, with Lourdes and Raquel Rocky that is in LA right now. And yes, we put a few ideas together, you know, like how we could maybe bring this into something else. And Carlin have, in that time, a really good contact of a space in Camberwell. So we were planning to do something for Women's Day, International Day. Um, so we met the girls as well. I remember we met the girls, some of the girls that were in that jam uh, in Monty's bar to have a beer and explain them as well the idea because we wanted to bring everyone together. And obviously we knew that not everyone could be uh, involved in the same level, you know, because we spent there really, the three of us, the four of us, we spent there four months, <laughs> three months you know, cleaning everything, painting, repairing walls and preparing all of that big warehouse into an art gallery. So we we did that meeting and I, I think it's few picture of that meeting. It was really, really formal meeting and the girls were really excited about it as well. So we just also felt like it was an empty space that was not covered, you know, because a lot of the girls were feeling really um, engaging and comfortable, you know, with if we were in a, in a group creating something together. And I mean, we knew each other before, Karin and I, but we, you know, through this project, we, this project bring us come together and make meet each other in really deep level because we spend a lot of hours together and we build that really beautiful friendship as well. So 
I think our fair festival that was before, you know, all the lockdown happened, the weekend before actually the lockdown happened. We were very lucky, weren't we? We were so lucky. It was, we so I mean, lucky. we were so immersed in that project and the people were saying that something was happening in China and I was like, what are they talking about? You know, <laughs> we're so lucky. Like, <laughs> no yeah, and we did the first weekend of March. The second weekend was yeah. already locked down, you know? So I think, you know, that experience, then we thought, okay, we have to create this as a collective, you know? We don't want to be a crew, we want to be a space where we could do different type of events and we love to work with people as well, you know, and we really believe in the power of art as unity and how it brings community together and how it's also an amazing therapy, you know, because it's, it's our own therapy. And, and you know, we, we thought like we have to take this, you know, I think quite more like a strong. And I think the, the, the core of WOM is the this, this four of us. I mean, Raquel is now in LA. So Lourdes, Carlin and I, you know, we are really a strong core and, you know, we bring ideas and, bring, you know, we create opportunities as well for the different levels. Uh, the artists can participate and can be part of WOM you know, in different type of events. And, and do you so, feel like, uh, I was going to say, do you feel like having the, you know, the, 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 those different artistic styles and different approaches that kind of leads to even greater creativity individually and collectively? Yeah. Yeah, sure. definitely. Definitely. Because it's, uh, it's how even when we put like the concept of the, the, the festival was warm inspired, what inspire you as a woman, you know, and how one same theme, theme come see so differently from different perspectives, you know, different visions of different women artists that are expressing, you know, that concept. And I think it's, um, I mean, I love to see different styles, you know, personally, I think we are all different. and we put a part of ourselves in our art. So, you know, even if it's the same bird, type of bird, you're gonna bring something different, you know, in the art piece. So, um, yeah, we are still like, I mean, I don't, um, you want to add more more things like, but the beginning of one was that, you know, it was really organic and, and just really also, I think the four of us, we were aligned in, what we want to do with this project in the ideas of an experience of, uh, as an artist, as a female artist, you know, and what we want to change and we want to achieve. So we are in the same page. And I think that also brings a, a strength, you know, into the collective because, um, I mean, we keep, le we keep learning in, in any single uh, step that we are doing, you know, as well. But like um, each is, each of us have strengths and weakness. And I think it's, I mean, I love to work with Kathleen and with Lourdes. And um, it's just been an amazing already, well, almost three years. Has it been three years? Right. Well, no, two years. Two this is, yeah, this is our second year. This will be, yeah, will be the second anniversary. It will be the, this August, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, that's right. The second, yeah, yeah. Two years, two years, babe. We're doing all right though. We're, we're, we're still, it's, it's taking its own, it's so bizarre what's happened with this collective, right? So for me, in the beginning, it was something that I was just like, yeah, why not? Let me get involved with this. But now I'm fully involved. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it's, like, it's like now I am fully involved in, you know, this building. So we're, we're, we're building as we're, you know, we're building ourselves as artists, we're also helping to create opportunities and, and spaces for other female artists. So I, I, I get a lot of um, a, a lot of women who have been watching us who will ask, like, how do I get involved? And I'm like, well, have you done any street art? They're like, no, I'm like, yeah. I said, well, come to one of our jams. Because this collective is really about street artists. Even though we all have different practices, but that's the core of it, street artists. Yeah. So, you know, what, what we're trying to encourage other women to do is like, you know, join us. 
go large with your paintings, use spray cans, use rollers, however you want to produce a piece, but it's, it, it should be outside, you know? So how do you create that kind of um, inclusive and welcoming space? Because, you know, I, I, I kind of think of some, say, graffiti jams I've been to before where it can be, especially if it's, you know, sometimes it can be a, a lot of blokes, for example, or it, it can be quite clicky. Do you know what I mean? So, like, how do you how do you welcome people in in that, in that respect? Because it might be quite intimidating as well to first paint on a wall. You know, I kind of think if I picked up a spray can and, I, I wouldn't even dare because I think it would look terrible, for example. So, like, how do you bring people on board and kind of lift them up in that way? Well, I think uh, we engage everyone to come and, I mean, they don't have to use a spray can. You know, we, we, we always engage them if they feel comfortable, you know, to use another medium, like, you know, to use brushes or rollers, please do it, you know. And I guess as well through our personality in some way, because I think like the three of us, we are really engaging. We are not about competition and like the jam is obviously different levels of art, but it's about we are gonna enjoy the day, you know? And if you come out of your comfort zone and you put yourself on first time on the wall, you know, I love you, my friend, you know, you did it. And mm. um, I always like when they contact us through social media, you know, we always try to like, if you're right there, ask for us, we like to meet the people, you know, and, and yeah, I think it's through engagement, you know, and that is, I think, part of our personalities. I mean, I love, I enjoy, you know, motivating people and then seeing them doing it. For me, like who I am to tell you, like it is technically bad or good, you know, as everything you practice in, you will improve, you know, but if my question is like, you have a good day, did you enjoy it? Yes, mm -hmm. for me, that is the, that's, you know. So how, yeah. how rewarding that's is that then? You know, just to, especially if you see someone who, who has just come out maybe for the first time and they've just, they've just enjoyed it and they've just e expressed themselves, you know, in that way. It's, it's just so beautiful. It's beautiful. It is. It's so beautiful. We've, I mean, we've seen it a number of times now. The numbers um, of the collective are growing. And I mean, even if you come and join us on the, on the paint estate, that does, you don't have to be a part of the collective. It, you know, it's just about opening up a space for people to come and come and paint. But we, we've, 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 witnessed, we've witnessed people, women, come and paint for the first time. And they're so excited. We're so excited. It's just... It's just a good thing. Like, um, do you remember the name, name of the lady who was taking pictures when we were painting in Brixton? Yeah, and she painted the last time, no? Um, she went, she went pretty Jagoda. big. Jagoda. <laughs> she, she went yes. pretty big for, for her first time. And, you know, that's just, that's just great. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what that space is for, for, for people, mm -hmm. women to come and, and give it a go. Because I think that, you know, once you, once you do it for the first time, then it kind of like, all that fear that you had built up in your mind for, for why you can't do it, it drops. And before you know it, you know, other women within the collective are communicating with each other mm. and making arrangements to go out and paint somewhere together, you know? So mm. it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing to, to, to watch. We, we had um, a, young, a young lady called um, Elena, Eleanor. Is it Elena Eleanor. or Eleanor? Eleanor, Eleanor, Eleanor. eight years old eight years old and eight her dad old. is so supportive he's so supportive so he he, he brought her along to um the jam that we did at stockwell mm. uh, a couple of months a month a month ago, a month ago was that? it was a month ago yeah <laughs> and um she produced an amazing piece <laughs> it was really it was really good but it was really nice to see her painting with her dad um standing there or, you know, on the sideline whenever she was taking her as a ladder. <laughs> it was actually <laughs> like, in the stolen, you know, <laughs> being painting. Yeah, it oh, was just so that that type of uh, when you see that and then you know the excitement in someone that is, doesn't have you can pay that. You know, I mean, mm. it's it's something just. I don't know how to describe it. I can't even find words. You know, for me, Play like in Spanish. It, Find your word in Spanish. <laughs> I remember maybe we'll find it in Spanish. But it's really a beautiful feeling of satisfaction mm -hmm. for me, like to see people enjoying and having a great experience and be being 
in the moment doing it you know like doesn't matter if you are eight years old or if you are 40 or 50 you know you we all have that child inside and when you are doing completely something mindfulness in the moment you know like that for me is a beautiful gift that I take from you know all all the preparation that we do all the hours and we put of work on this of moments sometimes of stress you know for me when then a moment of that you know it's like it's it's, it's worthy you know it's worthy to do it you know and to 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 keep creating these opportunities you know and um evolving and and creating opportunities where where people where women you know and others not just women, women like others can get inspired as well you know and you know as we are doing it they could you know put well, could create their own collectives as well so you create more unity i think mm. it's a special yeah. thing and i suppose one thing uh, you know and, and this is just from kind of looking at your respective feeds from the you know from the jam and from other stuff recently one thing that comes across to me is recently really colorful but really fun as well is one thing that just seems to be jumping off the jumping off the screen, so to speak, is like people enjoying themselves doing what they love, which I think kind of almost it almost like generates its own its own sort of energy there in that in 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 in, in that respect, really. Um, which is it's a, it's a great thing to see. I'd hopefully actually get down to see one of these uh, in in person that sometime. Would be nice. There, 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 there is a jam that I, I think that you would really like that we're doing on the six. Uh, I'll tell you a little bit more, more about that when we, right. you know, we, we have plans. Okay. okay. Yeah, okay. but I think you would love to come down to London for that. That's the sixth of June. Okay, yeah, it's gonna be a good keep an It's all about unity. Love that. That's that's a that's a big thing for us, you know. Yeah. That's a very big thing for us: unity and fun and love. Mm. so you know yeah. hopefully we can we can bridge the gap with what we're doing and um it's, it's i mean what we're doing is as exclusive to women but not only exclusive to women so mm. you know hint hint wink wink some future things in the pipeline yeah. it's interesting and you know colin when we spoke it, it, last year it was kind of the early days of the pandemic now we're kind of imagining like the end of it and the in the future and stuff like that but i think one thing like we, i suppose we've we've had to be apart from each other a lot more than we would have liked normally as human beings we like to be together so that i can just feel that that unity is something that like it's it, needed it's, yeah we really yeah. need it i think i think that the the last jam that we did we we collaborate with this other collective as well and they bring the music and they they like to engage um people through break dancing and hip hop so we kind of brought forces together for that day and yes the people like you could see how much people needed to mm -hmm. be together obviously it was an open space you know but like we have an amazing beautiful day as well a sunny day and the vibes were as you say you could feel the energy if you are there you could feel the energy you know and that is uh, healthy. That is uh, make us be raised higher, make us be more stronger, you know. And I think we really need it in this year of, if you zoom out, there's a lot of, a lot of information, a lot of things happening around the world, really stream, you know, that are creating more dividing and more hate. And and in the end of the day, we have we are human beings and we, we have to be, I, I don't believe that we are, beings to be in a cave alone you know mm -hmm. so we have to connect and and art is an amazing tool for that yeah personally i think yeah and it's, and it's quite um and, uh, and this is again just something a lot i love it's just the beauty of street art is it's just it's an instant connection as well isn't it whether you're at the jam which is a wonderful thing or if you're just walking past and see it and it might just give you a it might give you it might lift your mood or it might it might make you think of something differently or make you feel a certain a certain a certain way i think it's such a wonderful a wonderful thing um it must it must feel you know really rewarding to be putting this out there really you know yeah yeah, yeah i'm, I'm so very happy to be a part of this i'm i'm, I'm so happy that I'm, i'm a part of this because it's um 
I feel like it's an expansion of myself in order to, to help others. So I've, all, I've always been that way, but now I've got something solid, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> that is actually really, really helping and encouraging others. And even, and even those who don't come from a distance, they're watching and they're, you know, inspired by what we're doing. So hopefully we'll see more collectives um, grow and you know just just more and more and more and more people united mm. together to create beautiful art and you know express themselves in, in different areas whether it's digitally or outside or canvas or galleries or you know whatever. It's, all, it's all about that confidence just helping you get that confidence because you're already great everybody's already great just most people don't know because they're looking over there at what other people are doing but it's it's, it's time to start looking within for, you know what your gifts are you know <laughs> and, and if you can you can join with somebody to you know help you shine that much brighter do it go for it that's a beautiful thing and Colleen I, I saw recently you, you you've been working with uh with some some college students as well is that uh, that must be a that's more of that kind of giving back in and, and bringing people up there as well yeah, I mean, that's that's another part of what I do. I don't always show too much of that online. But um, that that one there, that the, I think you're talking about WAC College. Yeah. And what's funny is um, the the teacher who got me involved with that, her name is um, Levi, and now she's a member of the collective. So yeah. she, actually <laughs> came, yeah, she, she actually came out and painted for the first time outside and... I mean, she did an amazing job. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to know that it was her first time. And this is what happened yeah. with a lot of the artists. You would never know that it was their first time, but it's just this fear. So, you know, she came and she joined us and she absolutely loved it. <laughs> and it's opened her up to a whole new community which she didn't know existed. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So when, when we do, because, you know, Elno does workshops as well. In fact, a number of us in the collective do do workshops. So I try to keep it quite broad from young to old, to you know, from girls to, to men. Um, my workshops are for absolutely everybody, you know. Um, in fact, on, on our jam in Stockwell, we, we had little sections set up yeah. Yeah. To, for people to come and try. And it was, it was, it was interesting to see who came forward to, you know, want to yeah. pick up a spray can. I mean, mo- mostly children, but, you know, a couple men. Some others as well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's just the thing, isn't it? You know, it's like... Yeah, so what I love about that is, like, children have, they, they, you know, they've got no fear there. <laughs> it's like, you can, it's almost like you kind of learn that as you get older, in a way. Um, yes. So like, let's, yeah, try and, try and get rid of some of that, maybe, you know. Um, well, you know what it is? I think that as, as we become adults, we're a bit more self-aware. And mm. I think that that's, you know, it could be a good thing or a bad thing, but I think that, you know, children, they don't really have that. So they just go for it, you know, when yeah. they feel a certain way, they'd be like, no, I don't like that. Or, you know, no. or they just no, they don't have you know. a failure. I think you yeah. know, I think it's a certain yeah. age you are free, like you give them a, you know, a paper or well, I, I strike and they were spraying the floor like <laughs> they are not yeah. thinking I'm doing it good or bad. I'm doing it. Yeah. You know? I'm just and going we, some moment then we lose that. So it's like, I always say, like, try to bring back that five, six years old kid than you were, yeah, you know, because it's there, it's still there, yeah. you know, but we are really scared of, uh, like, when I do bar, like, the judgment, the failure, it's all of these conditions and are just, are just block, you know, like, it's not letting you really enjoy the moment. Yeah, because it's not for nothing, it's just for yourself. You just can't mm-hmm. enjoy just that moment, nothing else, you know. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, um, Zoom is telling me we've got six minutes left because I'm on a cheap version of it, apparently. So I'll, uh, okay. I'll, I'll let's see what we can get in. Do you know what? You've got any quick fire questions, questions for us? I enjoyed that the last time. Quick fire questions, back. okay. Oh, I, 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 that's, you've got me on the spot now. All right, no pressure. No pressure. <laughs> Okay, so we can jump in another, another call. Yeah? Well, do, do you know what I was going to ask? Was just, um, you know, we. we just what do you kind of, uh, you know, we're imagining life outside the pandemic now, you know, it seems to be everything's heading in the, in the right direction, hopefully, fingers crossed and all that. You know, what are you kind of hoping for, dreaming of, like, after the pandemic, you know, um, whether that's in art or life or whatever, you know? Big question. <laughs> <laughs> I had to raise the eyebrow for that one. 
Um, well, I hmm. think, I think, I mean, for me right now, I'm trying to dance. I'm trying to be present and trying to think we are coming. This is, you know, we we are doing good. Like we have to start to back, you know, already. I will say we need more moments to gather in together. Like we've been lost losing a lot of that, you know, and I think hopefully this is also being a time that make people think in what really made you enjoy life and what's really not. So where you want to put your time on. And I hope that will, as we say before, involve more community, but more unity and, you know, um, and our government supporting that, <laughs> please. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's, I think, um, yeah, I hope that we can think more on on the health of the people mentally and physically, and don't forget the mentally one, because that is a really important one. Mm -hmm. So that's my Jolly. yes, that's my rough idea. Yeah. Sorry, what was the question again? I so got just lost really in, I think, those words. Yeah, thinking of you know going back to normal, you know, life after the pandemic. What are you sort of you know? Uh, you know what he's mm. hoping for, I suppose. Really, um, I, I I don't know if there is such thing as a back to normal. To be quite honest with mm. you, but you know maybe that's not necessarily a bad thing because it gives people the opportunity to reinvent themselves. So you know, move, move, moving forward, like the way that we, the way that you know me, me Elno and Lures work, we just have ideas. <laughs> we'll have ideas and then we will put them to each other and then we we'll, we we'll build on we we'll build on that. You know. So for us, it's to, to make sure that we're in a good um, state mentally in order to have those free flowing ideas, you know? So, I mean, for me, I keep myself um, mentally stable by, by creating art. <laughs> I, I realized a long time ago that, you know, when I'm not creative, I, I actually start to lose my mind, <laughs> which <laughs> I realized that my creativity is like strongly attached to my sanity so um moving moving forward you know we just keep our minds clear and we just have so many ideas that we we talk about we see can this work how can this work mm. let's figure out how to do this let's move forward so even before the year you know what are we what month are we in right now it's uh, may. May. may may yeah mid may early may yeah, yeah. so we're in may right now but we, we have so many ideas of things that we would like to do. So it's really all about, you know, connecting the dots and linking with the right people. And, and that's very important as well to, to, to maintain um, relationships with, with the people that you've worked with so that, you know, moving forward, you, you know, you can have a good exchange of energy, a fair exchange of energy, you know? So, um, yeah, that's that's we 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 got a lot of things we got a lot of things planned for, for for the new year not even for the new year for this year <laughs> which is really exciting. Yeah, it's it's just like I'm just really excited about being a part of this collective or even being in a position that I can implement ideas and you know put my work into building um, things for 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 other people and myself obviously and and myself. So um, good times, good times for me at least good times for you elna of course babe. <laughs> well yeah yeah, yeah 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 and I, I'm, it says we've got less than a minute left so with okay with that <laughs> thank you both so much really really appreciate it and you're uh, welcome Sam. thank you i hope like uh you can come to london soon as you say and we can meet you in person and you can enjoy a fully yeah. one of these uh, big jams then you know probably you you will enjoy you know seeing you will enjoy together. it I know and that. you know what Sam there's something about you that I like I don't know what it is oh. yet but I, I do many <laughs> interviews I really don't I, I don't I don't do many interviews but I, I don't know I, I I like you there's something there's something about you know you're you're very calming and I've seen some of your other interviews as well and it's um it's, it's a pleasure to be on your platform oh well thank you, so, thank you so much. hopefully we get to meet you in person Definitely, yeah. definitely. This has, yeah. this has to happen. This has to happen, you know. Um, but um, yeah, thank you both so much. Really appreciate it.